framing, yes, but the lighting... Uh... Hello, mister. Oh. <sighs> Hello. <sighs> Why today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wild luck. Photographer. about coming back. your bag. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. A bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I am can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Mr. Morgan, I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. Oh, I hope not. So what you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No, wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I, I 
I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many things with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. It sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. <laughs> Modern technology. On the other hand, looks like they may be fans of you. I hope you got what you came for. Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. Come on. Snap out of it, you're safe. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. You're still alive. Uh, Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mason, I'm borrowing your horse. Of course, Mr. Morgan. Whatever you need. Easy. Idiot. You want? 
want your likeness taken? Go then. Good mustache. Come on. Yeah. Whoa, easy. Get up. Go on now, Holly. Make you all famous. Genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Yep. It'll take more than a large reptile to consume you. <laughs> Hang in there, old boy. Nothing to fear. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat. He'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, you're going to wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> the 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. Get away! We're conservationists, not killers. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. The gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Oh, look. Oh, that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... Alligators. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him. It's the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. 
nature. In all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. Stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just just there, please. So so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might it might just save him from the taxidermist. This monster stuffed in on display. Oh, that's the spirit. Out you go then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you and turn the old mic. If I'm. Oh, he's awake! Leave him back here! Quick! No, 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 no. Quick! Turn the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check. the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, sure. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, uh, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Should do us. 
Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. Are they gonna be any good? Oh. I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. They're there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh! Oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. It's me. Welcome back. 